Mr. Ricketts. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you have in front of you the existing industry project report. I'll just uh, we'll summarize a few things from that. Um, project Maroon, Ms. Ryder, you've been working that one very closely. Do you want to address yeah. that? Project Maroon is moving along. We are in negotiations for a term letter and are working through that. And Steve is working with us on that, so hopefully we'll have some additional information for you next month. That's a, a great bioscience project. Uh, project Express Scripts, I would want you to know that the training of the first cohort has begun. In fact, they're in their second week now, about 28 folks. They have already hired or are making offers to the second cohort, and that training would start uh, sometime in July. Uh, so we're well on the path now for training those 125 customer service representatives and are now talking with Express Scripts about how we might expand that for additional hires in the community into 2014. So I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, project Phoenix this is an advanced manufacturing project, a, a very large project uh, being worked by the uh, Georgia Port of Economic Development and Georgia Power. Uh, you know we identified two sites for that project. Uh, these are, need to be rail serve sites for heavy manufacturing. We had a conversation uh, today with uh, the mainline rail service provider for that site and they have vetted that site and are supportive of that site. So uh, we know we're in competition with three locations in the state. Uh, so we'll keep you posted on how that's progressing. But that's, that's good news from the rail provider for services there. Project Greensleeve, that's our produce logistics distribution facility. You know that when we started this, we were looking to try to get that facility in operation for the harvest season this year. We won't be able to do that, but the company now is looking forward uh, to how we could bring that project online for next year for the harvest season. We're continuing discussions with the uh, construction company that does refrigeration construction. Uh, kind of finalizing and, and working through the project construction and budget schedule. So I'll keep you posted on that, but it's certainly a delay in that project. Project Pump, that's the alternative fuels project. We're still working with the company for the final selection of the site and the due diligence that they need to do uh, to finalize a lease. Uh, and it, it would be a land lease project, but that one is, is still moving forward. Uh, project Drive, uh, that is a manufacturing project for personal hygiene products. Uh, we are still in competition with a couple of locations in the state of Georgia and now with a uh, location outside the state in Texas. Uh, we provided a uh, economic development uh, proposal to the company and called for some financials for us to complete their financial due diligence to qualify the project and we're waiting for that information come to us and of course for us to work that with the state. Project Jack is a manufacturing project uh, looking for a local manufacturing company that's seeking a location to expand their manufacturing operations in the southeast. We're now just beginning that work uh, to look for an appropriate site, uh, to look for what uh, their needs are and to understand those needs. Uh, so that is a project that is, is just now in the early development stages. Uh, project Harvest is a new project that we've opened with a uh, South Georgia-based company that fabricates and services agricultural harvesting equipment. Um, they are looking for a suitable location in Valdosta to expand their fabrication and service operations. So we're in the site selection process now for that project. And finally, with the Georgia Power Company Advanced Solar Initiative, uh, we are now working on finalizing land lease uh, and sublease agreements. And this is for a project that would uh, support the mud creek wastewater treatment uh, project that you're aware of. And uh, we do now have a, uh, a submission of a uh, project for a 20 megawatt commercial grade or commercial size solar project company has submitted the packet, so it's in the process now for review and award. We would expect uh, to know if they were successful on their bid sometime in the mid-November time zone. Uh, if you would uh, turn the page, we'll look at our existing industry visit report. 